Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video I want to talk about the following question. How can I set achievable goals and track my progress towards personal growth? And as always I give the answer by interpreting a quote. And today's quote is, when you attract better things you have become a better you. Because we can only explain it over the understanding of the mind, but the truth is it can't be explained by concepts of the mind like rationality or systematic differences. When you are on your path of your personal growth and you want to set achievable goals, you have to understand that your feeling, your new way of feeling and perceiving your life is the first thing that changes and is the strongest indicator for showing your, your steps on your progress towards personal growth. You will perceive your life and the situation it puts you in differently. And you will have a different approach and different solutions for all different kind of things that happen in your life. That's why it's not easy or not possible to explain it with the concept of mind rationality or systematic differences won't work in that case. But if we had to explain it over the mind or how the mind works, then it could be the following. By setting achievable goals on your progress towards personal growth, you will have to see new ways of thinking and achieve new ways of thinking. You will have to write goals down that you want to achieve that have something to do with perceiving the reality and thinking new about the reality. Because you can't really write down you want to feel the difference or your new reality differently. So by tracking your progress you have to make sure you think newly. But how do you do that? Like I said you have to write these things down. Take a notebook and a pen and sit down and ask yourself what is personal growth to you? When will you be satisfied with your personal growth? Don't set the goals like extremely high, like unachievable, no. Go lower and set goals you can achieve in the next month or within the year. And then break these things down into steps. For example, you say, I want to be free from depression. Okay, depression is a huge topic, so what do we need to break down? Okay, I want to feel more energy in my life. Good. So what is an achievable goal to feel more energy in your life? And how will it make you feel and how will it make you perceive yourself? How will it make you feel inside your body, what will it make you think about yourself. These things you need to write down and then you can go towards this. For example, if you say, okay, I want to think more positive. Good. In what case you want to think more positive? In what discipline you want to think more positive? I want to think more positive about my body, more confident about my body. Okay. Now, what are goals you can set to track the progress towards more body confidence or more self-love when it comes to your body? You will have to do it over your mind. The feeling you will get as a result is not, nothing you can achieve directly. You have to go over your mind and the way you perceive life. So, okay, when I get in front of the mirror in the morning, I will see, I want to see myself as a beautiful human. What can you do to achieve that? You can make a sticker on your mirror, for example, that says I am beautiful. Or you can work on beliefs and programs. Watch my other videos for that. Or you can make a weekly meeting with a coach. You can consult somebody that helps you with your body confidence. These things are short-term achievable goals and by writing these things down, like a step, 
letter, like you have the big goal, depression, then you have, okay, feeling self-confident and then feeling self-confident about my body. And then you make the steps, having a weekly meeting, making a sticker, eating healthy once a week, all these things. And then again, like I say in every video, go step by step, easy, slowly in your tempo. If you overdo it, like most of the books say and most of the coachings and, and seminars say and all these trainers and coaches out there say, you will feel overwhelmed and you will feel even more depressed because you lack the success reference experiences. So take it slowly, take your time, break your steps down and make it step by step, teeny tiny steps towards your goal. First, for example, you could take a sheet of paper and just draw your sticker you want to pin on your mirror. And the moment you don't like that sticker anymore, put it away and make a new one. Always feel confident, feel well, feel comfortable with the things you do around your progress towards personal growth. That's very, very important that you always feel comfortable with the way, with the momentum of your journey, with the progress itself. If you don't feel comfortable, you will fall back into your old behavior because you don't feel well with doing it. And feeling well is the most important condition you have to be in to make real progress towards personal growth. And if we take another um, example for your progress towards personal growth and how to set achievable goals is, let's say you want to be stronger when it comes to other people. You want to defend your opinion and you want to be more self-driven. Self-driven, not ego-driven, but self-driven means like you don't want to compare yourself. You don't want to do what other people expect you to do. You don't want these assumptions on you and you don't want people to permanently impose something on you. Then also take a notebook and write these things down. Like really break it down. Okay, I want to be more confident when it comes to defending my personal interest and my, personal, my personality in the end. What are steps? you can do. First, I want to wear things I love and then I want to say things that really come from my heart and that really reflecting my personality. Then again, break these things down. Okay, what does it mean reflecting your personality in things you say? Write some example sentences you want to use when it comes to other people. To reflect your personality and to defend your personal interest and your dignity in front of others and be resistant to assumptions and imposing on you. Write sentences down and then practice these sentences in any kind of conversation. You can practice these sentences and tell the people if they are like angry with you, you say, you tell them. I'm on my personal growth progress and I'm practicing these things. If it sounds very harsh to you, I'm sorry for that, but I need to make these boundaries and I'm practicing right now. Don't feel offended. I'm in a transformation progress. Not everything is perfectly, perfectly polished yet. And people will understand. And the people who don't understand, they may not be, they may not be right anymore for you and be part of your friendships, maybe. Because when you transform inside, within yourself, also the outside will transform. Also the people, the social environment, maybe even your professional environment, maybe even your local environment, like your, your apartment or the rooms you live in, or the haircut you wear, or the clothes you wear, that can change because you transform within yourself and you go more towards truth of yourself than what so far was imposed by others, what you believed that others put on your mind. 
I hope this video helps you to set achievable goals and track your progress towards personal growth. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. It takes only about two seconds, but it helps out a lot. And if you feel these videos can help you, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. And now you see a video on the screen. This may be the perfect video for you because YouTube thinks this is what you should watch next because of your interests. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.